Dawson Rider with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Ben 10 Reboot Wave 3 figures. I believe this is Wave 3. And this is a pretty exciting wave. It includes four of the new Omni Enhanced Aliens and Vilgax. Not that Vilgax isn't a cool guy, and it's it's honestly, spoiler alert, it's a nice figure. It's just, it's funny that he's like in this new wave with all these new Omni Enhanced guys. So this is pretty exciting because this is something that uh, came up semi-recently in the show, depending on whether you're keeping up with international airings or not. I'm sort of more or less keeping up with the spoilers rather than the actual show and just kind of watching it when it airs here. But that's not really important. But it's kind of this idea I didn't expect. It's kind of like the Ultimate Alien idea, but not really. It's more like a almost a weapon upgrade in a, in a manner of speaking. It kind of reminds me of the way um, that little symbiote dude, who I can't remember the name of right now, that attached himself to the Omnitrix, would give Ben weapons in Omniverse, but it kind of is like an upgrade to their powers via a more weapon look rather than an evolutionary thing. And I, I knew they were gonna find a way to sell toys, but I didn't expect this, and it's actually pretty neat. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and, and start with the non-Omni Enhanced, which is Vilgax. Which is a pretty good, a pretty good figure. Like uh, honestly, for the most part, even some of the lesser ones uh, amongst these first three waves are pretty good. I think the thing they succeed the most at is making him look like they came from the animation. Same thing with here with Vilgax. I mean, he, he looks pretty, pretty sad to be here. He doesn't look that excited. But they did a pretty good job on it, color-wise, making it look like the style of the animation. I dig that he's basically more or less the design of original series Vilgax, but he doesn't have like the the breathing apparatus and stuff. And he actually has a sword, which. Uh, is, I think, I'm assuming a call out to his Alien Force uh, days. Now, obviously that's not in this canon, but you know what I mean. But overall, I think it's a pretty good looking figure. And you got some pretty solid articulation here. The arms are a little hindered because of his Vulgax muscles. That was weird. But like, you still get it and it's, it's nice to have for some options. Even his head can move side to side a little bit, which is obviously hindered by his tentacles a little bit. He's got this sheath back here for the sword, but it has a hard time clicking in, especially since you have to go in between his tentacles, and if you want to move his head slightly, it kind of pops out, but that's really my only major complaint. He's an overall solid figure. He's just kind of the least exciting of the wave because we're getting the Omni Enhanced, which are all shiny and new and stuff. Not just for this toy line, but just a new concept in Ben 10 in general. Alright, so here we got Cannon Bolt, and these were figures that were pretty easy to be made because they took the, the same mold we got for the original figures and then just built on top of them, which makes sense. And basically it looks like a rock rhino, like he's got this rock armor that makes him kind of look like a rhino. And I kind of dig it. To be honest, I actually kind of like it more than Ultimate Cannon Bolt. I think it looks a little bit cooler. I like the rhino vibe it gives. I like the general look of the enhanced look. Um, you got articulation just like you did with other Cannon Bolt, which I think is something really cool that these Cannon Bolt figures that the Bandai ones just really didn't have. So you get like some all around motion and stuff and obviously it's not going to be as as varied as a skinnier figure like Heat Blast, but still it's kind of nice and they did it in a way where it doesn't feel weirdly unnatural. For whatever reason this piece comes off. I don't know if there's an initial reason for that, but it can come off and pop back on, but I'm just going to leave it on because there's really no need to mess with that. But So that's the thing. Alright, now we got four arms here who's more like four arms and six fists because two of his arms here now have two extra glowy fists. And I, I dig him as well. I think he's got a really cool armored look. I like the, the look of the blue. I like the sort of armored look his head got. It's 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 pretty neat. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot actually. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the articulation basically the same as the original recipe four arms. Just, you know, a little bit more cumbersome here and you get stuff like this. but. But yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. I, I dig it a lot, actually. I think this is a pretty cool concept that, honestly, I didn't expect to, to find something sort of really new and exciting out of this series. I mean, it's been very average. I know it has its fans, and I don't hate it. It's just been very average um, with, like, the most quote-unquote new thing. Let me fix this for a second. Being uh, Overflow and... Uh, you know, he's basically just water hazard. I mean, I guess Stinkfly is pretty new, but this is like the most um, distinctive thing to come out of this series. All right, here we got Heat Blast, who I'm a little more mixed on. I don't hate him, I just feel his thing is the least exciting, just basically being a jetpack. Like, it kind of makes sense, but he can... I thought it was cool enough that he could, like, you know, rocket himself up, and he could, like, surf on fire, so... It just seems... It's something that looks cool, but just seems a bit needless to me. But I do really like the blue flames on him, because it reminds me of Ultimate Swamp Fire, even though this is Heat Blast. 
but still I do dig that um, and if it was like an ultimate version I'd like to see an all blue version or something I don't know but it's fine I, I, it's probably my least favorite just in concept wise but I still think it looks pretty cool again it's using the base heat blast mode so you get the same articulation and I always appreciate that you can actually blast with the hands like that move the head around and the pack is removable if you want similar to that weird little rock patch that's removable on on cannon bolt for some reason Ooh, that just went really blurry i'm sorry about that i didn't see that for a second because i was looking at the real world instead of the camera wow you guys honestly you're embarrassing me you know i said i told everyone we were friends and then you embarrass me in front of everyone that's it you're, you're in time out all right now here's my favorite again I say this a lot in reviews, but I'm Diamond Head biased because he's my favorite alien. But I think he got the coolest one because he basically got this awesome, like, alien looking knight armor. Like, he's got a really cool, like, knight armor head with, like, the almost like, I think, Spartan look up here. He's got these cool little, like, diamond wing type things that come off of here. Cool spikes that protrude off of it. Um, the sort of geo looking armor. And he's got a sword. This is removable, by the way, but a cool sword. I think he looks really, really cool. Um, and it, it reminds me a bit of the Alien Force Ultimate Alien design where they had the sort of rock over it to sort of connect it with chromosome. 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 And I think it like continues off of that. And I think it looks really cool. And I, I dig it a lot. I'm a little bit biased, but even trying to set that aside, I think he looks pretty good. Again, you got the solid articulation, all that stuff. If you have or have seen the old figures, uh, not that they're that old, but you know, the first wave, you, you get the idea. But yeah, I think he's got the coolest design for me personally. Probably my second favorite is forearms. It probably goes diamond head, forearms, um, forearms, cannon bolt, heat blast. But I think they're all pretty cool. And I think it's a pretty cool way, both of adding something a bit new to the show and a, and a kind of a neat way to, to sell toys, I guess, there. But overall, I think this is a pretty cool wave. It's probably the most exciting wave we've gotten just because it has, like I said, not only new stuff just to this show, but it's like the first new content that I feel the reboot has brought to the franchise as a whole. So if you're a fan of any of these designs, or Vilgax, let's not forget old Vilgi over here, um, I can recommend picking these up. They're all nice figures. As I said, I think Playmates has done a good job with this line, and I think even the, the lesser or worse figures amongst the, them so far are pretty decent. Anyway, that's about it. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Dawson Ryder, signing out.